See sports from the CompCare Physical Therapy Sports Wall. What's going on, friends? I'm Julian Mitchell. Tonight on the Sports Wall, got a jam-packed local slate for you. We'll hear from a three-time world champ on the importance of today's second annual Pine Island Girls Wrestling Tournament. But first, we're going to start with a crosstown rivalry battle on the ice between John Marshall and Century. Rockets right in a four-game win streak, but back in December was Century who won this matchup 7-2. to two. We'll pick it up, JM, but one nothing in the first period. Former Athlete of the Week, Jaden Vaney looking to add to it. It's a great save by Kyle Oppie. Keep it one zip. Later, Century on the power play looking for the tie. It's TJ Gibson a rip. Cody Vlasity swipes it away. Let's go final seconds of the period here. Puck is going to go off the boards. All Fevel, a perfect pass. The Vaney in front, crosses over the goalie and scores. What a goal there. JM up 2-0 after one. And it would be the Rockets who pick up a big win here, beating Century 4-1. Now from the ice to the mat we go for the second annual Pine Island Girls Wrestling Tournament. For holding the inaugural event last year, this tournament has exploded. PI reporting they had 262 wrestlers from 59 different schools competing. Last year, PI head coach Ethan Pearson and AD Lisa Myron Shuddy had two mats for competition. This year, they needed four. It was an incredible turnout. Stands were packed. There was one person in particular who stood out in the crowd. That would be Emily Shilson, the Maple Grove native, is a pioneer in girls wrestling in the state. She qualified for the Class 3A Boys State Championship three times, the first ever girl to qualify in that class. A 2019 grad, she wrestled at Augsburg the last three years, winning four national titles and going undefeated. She's also internationally a three-time world champion. I caught up with her about what it meant to see the turnout in Pine Island today. It's incredible to see how far the sport has come. When I first started wrestling, I was one of the only girls in the entire state of Minnesota. Now there are two gyms that are packed full of girls, and it's a lot of fun seeing girls that I first met when they were really little, first starting out in the sport, and now they're in high school, and they're doing really well, and it's so cool to see. Emily and her family proposed girls wrestling five years ago. It's supposed to know the state tournament started last year. It's been a long road. Her father, Chad, thanks the Ellsmore family, the MSHSL, the Minnesota Coaches Association for the help. This has led to all of this. The numbers, I think, went over 260 wrestlers for the event. It's the largest girls tournament in the state of Minnesota ever. It's the largest girls high school state tournament in Minnesota. Next year, they're going to probably have to add another mat or add some more time. It's, it's fantastic. The support has been unbelievable just shows you what happens when a lot of people get behind a, a great opportunity. Let's get to some highlights now. Starting at 100 pounds, Pine Island's second-ranked wrestler Lauren Ellsmore against Cambridge Zanny's Tatum Kosteka. Ellsmore here, great position, puts Kosteka on her head. This cannot be comfortable. Ref, going to go ahead and call this one. Ellsmore with a win by fall. Should go on to take first place at the event. Staying at 100, this is GMLOS's Delaney Alden against Byron's Kennedy Bartell. Alden here got Bartell in a headlock, one shoulder down, needs the other, and got it. Alden with the win by fall, and a hug here from a great battle. Up to 152 now, Lake City's ninth-ranked Erica Hansen taking on Wadena. Deer Creek's Madeline Gallant, eighth at 145. Hansen, showing why she's a top-ranked grappler, got Gallant locked up, and see you later. Hansen with the win, the pin, and the win. 165 next, Byron's Naomi Carrillo, ranked sixth in the division. It's Elizabeth Oster from Bemidji, ranked fifth at 152. Saw that shot there from Oster. He'd circle and get a pin to take this match. Lastly here at 165, top-ranked wrestlers, St. Charles's Noel Barclay, 6th at 165. It's Elsie Olsen from Eastview, 5th at 185. Tight match here, Barclay there with the reversal. But this one, this escape, it was tied at 4 in the third period, would be the difference in this one, that escape from Olsen. Go on to take this match. Barclay falls, decision 5-4. to four. All right, from the high school ranks to junior hockey we go. Grizzlies looking to sweep the Oregon Tradesmen this weekend. Also, it is pink night at the rink, raising money for cancer research and some beautiful sweaters for Rochester. Grizz came out firing in this one. Ty Petsky takes a rip on the power play. This is tipped in by Spencer Klotz. I thought Petsky had the goal. I think he did too, but it's Klotz who puts the Grizz on top, one nothing. A little later, great puck movement. Connor Stoffel, high slot. Bar down beauty. Grizzlies jump out to a two zip lead and they didn't let go. Grizzlies win four to two. With just seven games left in the season, Grizz are at the top of the Central Division. 